the other unexpected host. What are you drinking tonight? What am I drinking? I'm drinking. Hang on, can I just add? If yes. Gertie wasn't, sorry, if Studs wasn't mad by already, he's gonna be mad now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm drinking good old Tim Hortons because I'm a struggling student and I can't afford uh, just to get alcohol willy nilly. So yeah, I went took a little trip to Timmy's tonight. Mm. What do you take in your coffee? I guess would be my next question. Normally, I just get like a two cream, one sugar sort of situation, but I thought I needed to go authentic Tim Hortons and get a double double. Nice. Just mm-hmm. for the Scotch and Sports Unexpected collaboration. Exactly. Exactly that. But it's making me realize how much I didn't really like a double double. So that's unfortunate. But I love- it's all for the it's all for the it's all for the podcast. And Gertie, I want to. I'm going to wait to throw it to Suds because he's shaking his head, and I don't want to let him speak yet. What are you drinking? I was going to say the things we do for our podcast, you know, um, like great. drink double doubles, do editing, just show up. Like, there's just so many things we really have to do to. That's the hardest it, part. That that is. I mean, it is way past my bedtime. I was going to say, Tim. Um, most of my knowledge of Australia comes from Instant Hotel, one of the greatest shows I think in the history of of shows. Are you familiar with Instant Hotel? I have seen it. Oh, I'm going to say no. I highly recommend it. It's it's like really good trash TV. When someone says Australia, their first thing is uh, Steve Irwin. So yeah. I'll, give you, I'll give you points for something a bit different. Okay. So No, there's that too. Like that, that's, I think, the obvious one. I think the second level is when you get to Instant Hotel because you just, you just learn a lot. You know, you get, you get really nitty gritty into like Bondi Beach. And that's, that's where my knowledge starts and ends. But it's it's the it's the little details like that that really get you to know a country. Um, I'm drinking a little Maker's Mark tonight. Um, I don't want to go with anything mm. too heavy. I was gonna make myself an old fashioned, but I was worried that I would fall asleep on the podcast, and so I said, you know what? I'm gonna take it down a notch, Oof. stay awake, stay vibrant, and smart. Keep it going because I need the energy levels. I'm I'm only decked out in like three <laughs> colors of candle. Woo. Love it. Also, my Habs won seven one, so I have a ton of energy. Yeah, but I mean, did they beat the best team in the North Division? I'll Twice. sweep them. Twice. I mean. <laughs> Twice. We're going to emphasize. Twice. I mean, I would say we're the best team in the North Division. So. <laughs> um, Suds, what are you uh, drowning your sorrows in tonight? Oh my gosh, I have so many things to respond to from the last five minutes of bullshit that I don't even remember how um, <laughs> first of all uh i am a student as well and i choose to drink laker rather than a double double which is fucking bullshit and it makes sense actually why you like tim hortons hey. because a double double is just like a milkshake it's not coffee i i hey i said i wasn't a fan of a double double do you like tim hortons yeah. coffee though she likes Starbucks more, so I don't know if that's better or worse. Oh, well, that's fair enough. I that's like the fair. I like the price of Tim Hortons, but the coffee is mm. really iffy. Yeah, no, that's fair. And they're all up the rim. Let's not forget oh that. Oh, my gosh. The, the, the only reason I drink beer is because Starbucks is too expensive. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's legit. But yeah, roll up the rim. I'm. It's not the yeah. same, and it really makes me mad, but I'm ready. I'm ready anyways. Yeah, roll up the rim. I just... I, 100%. That's the best thing about Tim Hortons. But also, if you when I was in high school, Roll of the Rim was like, you know, one in five times you would like win a fucking car. And now it's like yeah. one in one in 20 times you might get a muffin. I know. I one time back uh, like two or three years ago, I looked and it said one in six chances to win just something in general. I went, I kid you not, probably 10 times and I won nothing. Yeah, it's uh, statistics, right? It's hit yeah. or miss. But I, I remember when I was I remember when I was in high school, it was like everybody knew someone who won a barbecue on roll up the rim. Really? Where? Oh, I know. Oh, what town you were in? Oh, oh yeah. I was in Kempville, sir. Oh right. I was yeah. south of Ottawa. <laughs> Not quite as good as Ottawa, but just a little the East Coast. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. right, right yeah, on the yeah. East Coast. East Coast, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> really close to that Quebec border, which is obviously the East Coast. Not to derail us too much, but quick Tim Horton story. I was reading about Roll Up the Rim because they went digital last year. There was this, this statistician 
who tried to rig the system because he figured out that because it was digital, there had to be some kind of system where they give it the prizes, right? So he figured mm -hmm. out it's at certain times they would give it certain prizes. And when less people are playing, he probably had a higher chance of winning. He saved his like 390 rolls or whatever he had over the period and waited, got up at like a 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. one day. And he won oh. like, I think he only lost something stupid, like 10 of his rolls were losses. Oh my gosh. Or something ridiculous like that. So he figured out how to game the system. And I was like, holy shit, that's commitment to roll up the rim. He didn't win anything big, but. I crazy. really don't like the electronic one. It's just not the same as like actually rolling it up. But... Yeah, I, know. I mean, you gotta do it.